Hi guys, today I'm filming from real village in Russia and we're going to go to our dacha, our village house. Village starts over here, now I'm on the territory of construction company. There are some examples of small houses, cottage houses that they can build for you. Here is a pit stop zone where all people who go to their dachas, they stop for food shopping. Pit stop with fast food. People buying something. Only food supermarket here and Vin Lab. The supermarket is supermarket for drinks and alcohol. Here on the road, people just sell different plants that you can buy for your dacha. This is a strawberry. It has even some strawberries already and different plants and flowers. Like those are roses. I passed the pit stop area, now I'm walking through the village that I'm going to show you guys. Here is a sign, it says Ulitsa Shisliva, which means happy street. I'm not sure how happy it is actually in Russian village. You can see those grumpy clouds, it's because we have huge thunderstorm two days ago. We had a flood in Vladivostok, like our roads were damaged. This is a main street and all side streets look like that kind of off-road situation. Each family has an angry dog who protects the house. Usually all territories and all houses in Russia would have fences. If you will see some products stay near to the road outside of the house, for example those bottles, it means that this family sells uh, probably fresh milk and another dairy product. Maybe they have a cow in their family. I found the Kalodits, guys. It's the place where you can get water. It looks so old. I'm not sure if there are any water inside. Oh my god. What if I open that? It can fall down. This food market looks so hilarious, so bright. Jesus, those cars are everywhere. Like, seriously? I just wanted to say that we have so many alcohol shops in the village. Like, I think it's the habit of people just to go to dacha and buy beer and buy vodka some nice houses from one side and some more old houses from another side you can look inside because all behind a fence this village is not quiet at all the traffic is so crazy and i know why because down the road there will be a lot of dacha districts like cottage districts that's being built right now and people go in there like crazy I found a more modern place for water colored which is... we can try to open oh yeah you have to get your bucket and then here is a chain so you put it there, put it inside and then you start to push this part and it will move baby excavator probably this is my size i'm alone this is off-road situation again some random woman picked me up on the road because i was there completely alone she drove me like 400 meters i was like no it's just five minutes left and i was like okay let's go it's the last piece of land we're going to our dacha just have to climb the road because our dacha located on top of the hill even like here now because of huge thunderstorm and the beautiful chamomile flowers what's the difference between village and dacha is that in village people usually live constantly throughout the year and dachas are just houses where people come for summer to grow some vegetables to plant plant something as i'm climbing here i can see beautiful view of the village village house can be registered and have post address so you can have the registration in your passport whereas dasha house is just a building 
with no address. Not everywhere like this. For example, 20 years ago, we didn't have any address here. But now, again, people building here, we have fences, we have big houses here. So it's more becoming like a big town. I forgot how steep this road is. Oh my God, I need some water. What is this sound? There, by the way, is a real forest where you can find real danger and animals. Years ago, when people are not here, you can meet here like wild pigs. Wild pigs dig the, dig the earth. This is a neighbor's house. And look how beautiful is that. It is a field of chamomile. This is our dacha already. Beautiful blossom of rose hip trees. Very beautiful but dangerous because huge needles. Today I learned new English word is honeysuckle, which is this berry. We call it jimalist in Russia, but I never know how to call it in English. And another tree we have here is black currant. It's green now, but it will grow more and it will be very delicious. This year there are not a lot of berries because maybe not enough sunshine. I need to pick it today. Squish it, it's like a blood. I can try one. Need sugar, bloody fingers. <laughs> Here we have a new house that my relatives been building, but it's not finished yet. This is our potato. After the rain is growing very nice. And soon it will give flowers. Growing potato skill acquired. Also, we have a bit of strawberries here. Here are tiny, tiny green strawberries. By the way, Dacha is very dangerous right now because of ticks, insects. They live in the grass and they can carry the dangerous virus that can get inside your head. So the better is to cover your hair like that so they cannot get inside your head. Today I'm being very rural, like real rural citizen. I'm going to take electrica to go back home. Trains with petrol and this is my MC platform. Guys, today I've been thinking about if I will have a lot of subscribers, like 10,000 or 20,000, I have to go on a journey from Vladivostok to Moscow by train. I have to take this famous Trans-Siberian trip. It would be so cool if it can happen this summer because I have time. People usually don't have time for such a long journey to spend one week inside a train. If you want me to do that, please subscribe to my channel down below. I am not afraid to be in a train for one week, but I'm afraid like of normal bathroom for one week. I like to wash my face, otherwise my skin will be really bad. I like to wash my head. So I, I cannot imagine how it will be for one week. There is a shower, but like, it's not the same as be at home. Thank you for staying with me until the end. If you're interested about another content about Russia, you can check out my previous videos. And I hope to see you in my next vlogs. Bye bye.